A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus A plus English is so much fun. English education for you and everyone, so come along. Learn some grammar, hey. learn a phrase, uh -huh. learn something new every day. Learn the A plus way. Hey, it's time to start the show. Are you ready? Good, plus here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Hello and welcome back to A Plus. This is Laura, and this is Reese, my best friend, and my we're best partner. The super team is back. I know for day two of our article about how to adopt a pet. Okay. The responsible way to add a new family、mm -hmm. member to your house.、Aww. Very nice. Well, yesterday we talked about the things that you might need to do if you want to go and adopt a pet. Right. Today we're going to learn a bit more about that process、mm -hmm. and responsible ways to do it. But first, Laura, a warm-up question、okay. for you: You find a cat or dog outside, what should you do?、Uh, can I bring it to the animal shelter that we talked about yesterday? I think that's a good answer. 嗯，昨天就是我们有提到这个动物收容所。那如果你是一个可能 you you're not really sure yet if you're responsible enough. Yeah, don't just like keep it for a day and say, "Oh, I don't want it."、Mm -hmm. That's really bad. You 不能就是玩一玩，因为狗狗跟猫猫都是有生命的，然后这样他们就可能会变成流浪猫猫狗狗 ，which is really sad.、Mm. So maybe I think an animal shelter will take good care of it. Yeah. I think there's probably a phone number that you can call、yeah. for an animal shelter、yes. or animal rescue,、mm -hmm. and they can come and help you.、Mm. One thing you definitely should not do is go and try and touch or play with that animal,、oh, because that's a good point. A wild dog outside or a lost dog might be scared、mm. and could get aggressive. That's, that's true. That's what happened to my friend. Yeah. So if you do see a wild dog or cat or a stray dog or cat outside,、mm -hmm. don't go up to it. Maybe you can find the phone number online for the animal、yes. rescue service、mm -hmm. and call them to help you because they are professionals. Smart. That's good advice.、Mm. All right, let's get into day two of our article about adopting pets. How to adopt a pet? Warm-up question: You find a cat or dog outside. What should you do? Animal foster homes. Volunteers find stray cats and dogs and take care of them at home. It's a little harder to adopt animals from a foster home. You must not only be at least 25 years old, but also have an income. The foster home volunteer will visit your home sometimes to check on your pet. Animal Facebook groups. People post information about stray animals on these groups. They'll show a picture of the animal and say where it was found. They hope to find the animal's owner or someone else to adopt it. It's more responsible to adopt pets than to buy them from breeders. Remember, adopt. Don't shop. Word power. Income. Income. Paul works all day, but he still doesn't have a large income. Paul works all day, but he still doesn't have a large income. Post. Post. My friend posted a picture of her new car on Instagram. It looks great. My friend posted a picture of her new car on Instagram. It looks great. Owner, owner. That car is in the wrong place. We're looking for the owner. That car is in the wrong place. We're looking for the owner. Responsible, responsible. Please be responsible. 
Don't leave your trash on the ground. Please be responsible. Don't leave your trash on the ground. 电视智慧 Foster home. Foster home. Volunteer. Volunteer. Stray. Stray. Breeder. Breeder. So the article begins by introducing us another way of adopting an animal. It tells us about animal foster homes. So before we explain that, let's、mm-hmm. talk about what a foster home actually is. A foster home is a temporary home that means not permanent、mm-hmm. for children or animals that don't have their own place to live.、Mm. A foster home is different from an orphanage.、Mm. An orphanage is more like a permanent home for children who don't have parents, whereas a child or animal might live in many different foster homes. They're temporary. Okay, 我们今天接着就要讲到有关 foster homes 是什么呢？就是寄养家庭。那刚刚 Rice 也提到另外一个字，就是 orphanage， 就是孤儿院。嗯、hmm. ，Back to the article, it says that volunteers find stray cats and dogs and take care of them at home. That's very, very nice of people. I know they're、yeah. so kind. Open up their homes to these animals.、Yay. There are some words to talk about here. First, it's the word volunteer.、Mm-hmm. A volunteer is a person who volunteers. Yes, that means to do good work for people who need help and to do it for free. Stray is an adjective, and stray describes animals who are homeless. A stray animal has no owner and lives on the street. Oh, 好可怜、mm. Okay, 我们接着来了解有关哦这个寄养家庭。他说，志工会找到流浪猫和流浪狗，并且哎，就在家里照顾他们。哎，真是太感人了。我们来看一下 volunteer。其实这个字可以当名词或是动词，但在本课是当做名词来用，就是志工啦、义工。而提到了流浪猫或是流浪狗，一定要用到这个形容词 stray。So stray dogs or stray cats 就是流浪狗或是猫。那本身 stray 这个形容词就是迷路的、走失的，或者是无家可归的，他们没有主人。嗯、mm. mm. ，Volunteering is a really good thing to do, and I think everybody should spend some time in their life. Totally. Volunteering.、Mm. When I was living in Beijing, I used、mm-hmm. to volunteer at an orphanage for blind children.、Oh. We would teach them English and help them. In the United States, there are also really sweet kids.、Mm-hmm. All right, back to the article. It says it's a little harder to adopt animals from a foster home. You must not only be at least twenty-five years old, but Also have an income. Oh,、mm. 听起来比较严格喽。如果你想要从一个寄养家庭领养动物，哎，可能会比较难一点哦。你不但必须要至少几岁，二十五岁，不是刚刚一开始的收容所的二十岁，你要二十五岁，而且还要有一个收入。这里呢，哎，我们先来了解多关于刚刚提到的 not only but also 的用法。Let's check out our magic box. Magic box. Hello, 大家好，我是 Ice。今天呢，要来介绍给大家一个超级超级实用的一个对等连接词 ，Not only but also。那中文的意思呢，就是不仅点点点，而且还点点点。通常呢，我们都会把它记成了 not only A but also B。那因为呢，我刚刚一开始有说它是一个连接词嘛，所以呢，这边的这个 A 跟 B 都要是相同词性，就是它都要连接相同词性的东西哦。比方说呢 ，A 是形容词，那 B 呢就要是形容词。那如果今天 A 是动词，那 B 就要是动词。比方说呢 ，Lisa is not only beautiful but also kind. Lisa 呢不仅人长得漂亮，而且呢心地呢也非常的善良。那在这边呢，这个 not only A but also B 呢，就是用来连接两个形容词 beautiful and kind 啦。那又或者呢，我们来造另外一个例句哦。Can not only beat the dishes but also throw garbage away today. Can 呢不仅呢就是今天有洗碗，而且它还有倒垃圾哦。那在这边呢就是连接两个动词 did 跟 threw away
。那来考考大家，假如呢今天 not only but also 是用来连接讲两个主词的时候呢，动词应该要怎么做变化呢？比方说 ，not only I but also my sister blank。To watch movies at home on weekends. 不仅我呢，而且我妹，就是我们通常每周末呢，我们都会喜欢在家看电影。那这边的动词是要填 like 还是 likes 呢？没错，这边的这个动词呢，就是要填 likes 而不是 like 哦。所以呢，如果今天呢 ，not only but also 是用来连接两个主词的话呢？动词的变化呢，以及它的单复数是要跟着最靠近的主词去做变化。言下之意呢，就是动词要跟着这个 be 而来去做变化，是不是很简单呢？那今天教给大家呢，这些常见的就是非常实用的这个连接词 noun 里边 also 的用法，希望大家都学起来喽。那我们下次见，拜拜。Thank you, Magic Box.、Mm. Not only are we learning grammar, <gasps> but also、yeah. we're learning vocabulary. That's right. Okay. Because next, I'm going to explain the word power word income. 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 那如果哎，你的收入很高，英文我们可以用 high income， 很低就是 low income。而哎，每个人都会计算说年收入有多少，可能要去工作的时候要 interview 要面试，就会很好奇说哎，年收入多少？那这个英文就是 annual income。annual 拼法是 a n n u a l a n u a l， 没错，我拼对了。那口语如果我们要说哎，薪水这个字呢，其实 income 有点正式，我们可以用。Your pay, 或是 your salary, S A L A R Y, 这都可以用来表示薪水。But it's very rude to ask somebody's, like, how much money do you make? You know, their income. 一直问人家的收入是有点不礼貌，尤其是你刚认识一个人。好了，我们来看一下这个例句，轻松一下。Paul works all day, but he still doesn't have a large income. 哎，也不轻松，因为他的意思是。Paul 整天都在工作，但是他仍然没有一份很高的收入。Poor Paul. So income is a noun, and a person's income is their salary. Yes, it's the amount of money that they make from working.、Mm. Many people make their income from one job,、mm -hmm. but some people might make their income from more than one source. Perhaps they have their own business,、wow. several jobs, or their own properties that they can、oh, rent out. That's smart. Yeah, my dream. And the verb for getting an income、mm -hmm. is earn. Ah, that's、e、right. A R N.、Mm. You earn money. You earn an income.、Mm -hmm. Okay, back to the article. The foster home volunteer will visit your home sometimes to check on your pet. Smart. That's pretty important.、Mm. They need to make sure that the environment that the pet、oh. is living in is safe and healthy.、Mm. There's a phrase here to talk about. It's the phrase "check on." Check on is a verb phrase, and to check on something or someone means to look and see if someone or something is doing okay. To check if they are healthy and safe, we can use "check on" for other things too. If you're baking a cake,、mm -hmm. you should check on it regularly to make sure it doesn't burn. <laughs> okay, you need to do that. Okay, because I often have to check on things. Anything I put in the oven <laughs> ends up burning. I know. Let's look at the question. The text mentions that the foster home volunteer will visit your home sometimes to check on your pet. Is your pet okay? Okay, let's check on the phrase "check on." What is the meaning of checking on? It's to check on the environment. So he will check on the environment. 是不是 OK？ 或是你照顾的方法是不是 OK？ They might give you some advice. Hmm.、Mm. Very helpful. Well, the article now moves on to another point, another source for finding pets for your home. Animal Facebook groups. People post information about stray animals on these groups. Oh, this is very smart. It's a Facebook group for animals. People are going to post information about stray animals on these groups. Oh, this is very smart. It's a Facebook group for animals. 那这里呢，就提到 Reese 很爱的一个字，就是 post， 也就是你们常说的 po 文 po 的那个 po。
。我们常说的，哎，你剖文，你剖照片了没？你们知道吗？是来自于这个字哦 ，post, p o s t. OK， 而且外国人不会说 p o s o k 只有我们中文才会说，所以要注意了。如果英文要讲话，就要用对 post， 就是张贴讯息，可能在网络上等等。像是我真的很想要跟 Reese 说。你这个自恋狂 ，stop posting your selfies all the time, please. 就是他常常会，大家可以去加他的 Instagram, IG， 好不好？你就会看到他一直在 po 他的自拍照 selfies. OK， 待会我们可以再透露，看他想不想跟你们讲。You know, I never post anything on the internet that I wouldn't want my boss to see. 像是我都不敢 po 很多东西在网络上，因为我不想让我老板或是未来可能会成为我老板的人看到我写的东西。So I hardly ever post on Facebook. 我几乎很少在我脸书上会就是发一些消息。那所以 Instagram 也有这个东西，那你可以，因为我刚刚讲的是 Facebook 嘛，你也可以用 Instagram posts， 就是 Instagram 的 po 文。那如果是动态是 stories， 嗯，很有趣吧？来，我们来看一下整句的用法。My friend posted a picture of her new car on Instagram. It looks great. 我的朋友在 Instagram 上张贴了一张他新车的照片，车子看起来很棒哦。Laura, my ears are burning for some reason. I feel like somebody was just talking about me. 不好意思哦 ，I was just using it as an example sentence so they get the idea. You know, I don't. 这是开玩笑的啦。Okay, I post pictures sometimes, but it's usually selfies of me with my cat. 对呀、啊，而且我很爱 ，I love all your stories too. Thank you so much. 对我每天没有看你的 story， 我的心情就会不好。Well, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm a big fan. Okay, so this word post is used as a verb, and to post something means to put. Something like a photo, video, or text on the internet.、Mm. We use the word "post" because it's like sending a message. You know, the old、oh. way of sending messages was by posting letters, letters. or packages. A postman、mm. or a post person would deliver them for you. Well, nowadays, posting is much easier. You just press a few buttons. <laughs> Easy. All right. Back to the article.、Mm-hmm. They'll show a picture of the animal and say where it was found. They hope to find the animal's owner or someone else to adopt it. The article is talking about people in the Facebook group here. 嗯，我们这里在提到就是那个脸书社团哦，他们会怎么样？秀出可能一张动物的照片，并且说，哎，他在哪边找到这个动物？然后他们希望可以找到这小动物的主人，或是有没有人愿意领养它？那这里我们一直不断提到的 owner。到底是什么意思？要怎么用 ？Let's check it out. 其实 owner 这个字就是由 own， 就是拥有这个动词，后面加 er。拥有的人当然就是主人这样子的意思啊，它是一个名词。那如果你是有一只猫的人 ，you're a cat。Owner, OK. 那如果你有一台车 ，you're a car owner. 以此类推。那我每次哎看到很可爱的猫，我就很想知道说，哎，它的主人可能长什么样子。我就会说 ，Who's the owner of this cute cat or this cute dog? 我们来看一下另外一个例句。That car is in the wrong place. We're looking for the owner. 哦、oh, ，这个很糟糕。那部车子停在错误的地方。我们正在寻找它的主人。到底是谁乱停？ So, owner is a noun,、mm-hmm. and an owner is a person who owns something. Totally. That means that the thing belongs to you. It is yours.、Mm. You can be the owner of a pet or、mm-hmm. the owner of a thing. As we all know, I have、Aww. a cat named Ponyo, and I am her owner.、Mm. I'm her proud owner. Oh, so cute. Back to the article, and it's going to finish up here. It says it's more responsible to adopt pets. Than to buy them from breeders. 没错，你知道吗？我觉得这很有意义。这句话你要听好，我就是领养动物比从繁殖者买来更加有责任感，更加有意义。哎，有责任感的英文要怎么说 ？Let's check it out. Responsible 这个字看起来好像有点难哦，但是很重要，常常见，就是可靠的、负责的，是个形容词，它的名词也是责任的意思哦，就是 responsibility。那常常有 OK 进去一个就是一家店，然后可能说这里是谁负责的，叫你们经理来，就是 Who's responsible here？ 谁负责的啦？那注意哦，一个文法小重点，你要说 Someone is responsible。
for something, 不是 of something 哦，像是 who is responsible for this mess? 这么乱是谁负责的？谁把它弄乱的啊 ？OK， 这个要注意哦。好，我们来看一下另外一个例句。Please be responsible. Don't leave your trash on the ground. 哎，请负责任一点，不要把你的垃圾留在地上。So responsible is an adjective and something like an action,、mm -hmm. job, or a task that is responsible is a job involving important duties,、yes. independent decision making,、yes. or control over、Ooh. other people. People can be responsible too.、Mm -hmm. That means they act in a way that is sensible and right and cares for the well-being of people. The article uses the word "responsible" to talk about the act of adopting pets instead of buying baby animals. That means adopting pets is a better thing to do. It's more sensible and good for the world. We also saw the word "breeder."、Ah. Breeder is a noun, and a breeder is a person who breeds animals.、Oh. The verb breed、mm -hmm. means to make animals have babies.、Yes. So a breeder is a person who makes、uh, animals have babies so that they can sell those、And、babies. Make money. Yeah,、mm -hmm. there are actually a lot of animals without owners out there.、Mm. So breeding isn't a super good thing to be doing right now. Unless you're breeding endangered animals like pandas, then keep doing it. <laughs> okay, 我也很喜欢看很小的那个团团圆圆，或者是 you know their names are really cute.、Mm. Yeah, 团团圆圆 the the cute pandas. Oh right, the, 对啊，好可爱哦。还有那个 anyways, now back to the article. 我们真的要赶快讲完了，因为我们 article 快结束了。刚刚提到的 breeder 就是繁殖者，所以最后 our article sums up by saying this is very important, guys. Listen carefully. Remember, adopt, don't shop. 对，没错，就是记得要领养，代替购买，超重要的一个观念。Very good advice.、Mm -hmm. Well, that's the end of the two-day article about adopting pets. We hope that you've learned something and remember this information. If your parents agree to、mm -hmm. buy you a pet,、right? perhaps you could convince them it's better to adopt、yes. one. Well, let's go to today's review time activity and review our vocabulary. Review time. Okay, we're back, and Laura, we're playing a game that I love. It's called Bingo. Bingo. If you can win Bingo, then you'll win lots of money. Usually, but not today. B I N G O. Today, you'll just win karma points. Okay. <laughs> well, bingo is very easy to play. This game,、mm -hmm. all you're going to need to do is identify the word that I'm explaining, okay. and then you can cross that word off the board.、How? If you get three words in a line, then you win. Oh, you 赶快，你赶快 ！I can't wait to play. Okay, the first word is a noun, and it can be a kind of test, or it's when you check the health of something. 这很简单啊，就是 exam. Very good. Exam. Okay, 好、so, I'll, ，I'll cross it out. You've got one there. Okay. Okay, the next word is also a noun, and it's the word for the money that you <gasps> earn money, money, from、income. your job. Wow, income. Very good. You've got two in a row. Almost have a line. Okay, another word. 我听到 money 就知道是收入。This is an adjective that describes an animal who doesn't have a home and lives、oh, on the streets. Oh, 好可怜！这已经是流浪猫的狗，那个流浪的走失的 stray. Stray. 干嘛不给我这个？害我不能赢。Okay. <laughs> okay. The next word is a verb, which means to write your name. Oh, that's to sign, 写名字，签名。Okay. This is very fun. I'm now quite connected. Quite connected. Let me connect. Okay. Next word is a noun, and it is the person who is the bingo owner. <laughs> yeah, something belongs to them. B I N G O B I N G O. Your line includes the words income, stray, and owner. Good job, Laura. I'm very good, right? You guys think it's fun, right? That was really fun. I love bingo. Yeah. The best way to play this game is with a group of people, and everybody has their nine words organized in a different pattern. Yeah. And then there'll only be one winner. Usually, okay. Well, that's the end of today's article about adopting pets.、Mm -hmm. We there are more words that you can use to、yeah. play bingo with, but I think that's all that we have. Laura, should we say goodbye? I know they'll they'll definitely miss us. We're like 
the funnest teacher we'll, ever. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Okay. All right. We'll see you next time. Love you. Bye. How to adopt a pet? Warm-up question: You find a cat or dog outside. What should you do? Animal foster homes. Volunteers find stray cats and dogs and take care of them at home. It's a little harder to adopt animals from a foster home. You must not only be at least 25 years old, but also have an income. The foster home volunteer will visit your home sometimes to check on your pet. Animal Facebook groups. People post information about stray animals on these groups. They'll show a picture of the animal and say where it was found. They hope to find the animal's owner or someone else to adopt it. It's more responsible to adopt pets than to buy them from breeders. Remember, adopt. Don't shop. Word power. Income. Income. Paul works all day, but he still doesn't have a large income. Paul works all day, but he still doesn't have a large income. Post. Post. My friend posted a picture of her new car on Instagram. It looks great. My friend posted a picture of her new car on Instagram. It looks great. Owner, owner. That car is in the wrong place. We're looking for the owner. That car is in the wrong place. We're looking for the owner. Responsible, responsible. Please be responsible. Don't leave your trash on the ground. Please be responsible. Don't leave your trash on the ground. 电视智慧 Foster home. Foster home. Volunteer. Volunteer. Stray. Stray. Breeder. Breeder.